So it's out here in the wilderness of Western Arizona. It is a good 20, 25 minutes from the nearest town. We're southwest of Wickenburg. This is a very remote area, but there is this gold mine here where John Waddell was climbing down. His friend says he was exploring. Well, that same friend ended up being the one who came to check on him, ultimately saving his life. It was a very coordinated effort as rescuers from Maricopa County hitched up their ropes and harnesses Wednesday afternoon. John Waddell, a 62-year-old who often goes exploring in the abandoned gold mines here, had been stuck for about 48 hours when his friend came to check on him. Well, he had called me Monday and told me he was coming to the mine and always had a deal. Well, if he's not back by Tuesday because he said he was going to be back Tuesday, uh, and I didn't come down Tuesday, but I did today. He didn't get back, and here's what we found. I was afraid of what I was going to find. Terry Schrader could hear Waddell yelling for help as soon as he showed up. Schrader had to make a short hike just to get enough cell signal to even call 911. It was in my mind all night and all day that what I was going to find, but I didn't. He's not supposed to go in these shafts, a vertical shaft, without somebody here, but he did. He was anxious to get down and see what was down there. Schrader says as Waddell rappelled into the shaft, his carabiner broke, sending him 40 or 50 feet the rest of the way down. After they pulled the man out, you could hear him screaming in pain, and it took a while to finally get him loaded onto a helicopter behind the rescue scene. And they finally were able to take him away. Waddell wasn't completely alone in the shaft. Apparently, he had to kill three rattlesnakes while he waited and hoped without food and water. And he couldn't hardly talk because he had just act like his throat was super dry. Now Waddell is in a Phoenix area hospital, and from the way Schrader described him, he likely has several broken bones. But at least he's alive to tell the story. In western Maricopa County, Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family.